Hey guys, Karen Sivir here with another Dublin review. This time I'll be reviewing the Santa Claus football and the cake football from Conrad Build. This is another pair of footballs that were sold separately, but when used together, create the best match. So, let's get started. So starting off, let's take a look at these footballs on their own. First up, we have the Santa Claus football. This one is done in a cherry red color, as you see by the cap and the body. You can see S and C for Santa Claus and cake. This football was included with the Conrad Build Cara Deco Christmas Cake, which is a special Christmas cake released every year that is part of a different a series of kind of character cakes of popular Saturday morning or rather Sunday morning TV series in Japan, which usually includes Conrad Super Sentai and Pretty Cure. With this you can twist around the cap all the way. They have the body. Which you can see is actually done in the old style, where it's all a single clear colored plastic. And you can see this does depict Santa Claus. And the reason why it's in this style is because this was released prior to the shift to the new style of bottles. So, you can see the QR code here inside for Gumba Rising, and give it a good shake. Second, we have the cake football, which ironically enough was not included with the Christmas cake. Instead, this was sold as a candy toy as part of SD Football 03. So this one you have a white cap, but for the body, it's this kind of pinkish clear color. Once again, we have S and C. And see the cake here with some candles. And for those of you who don't know too much about Christmas cakes, that's kind of a Japanese tradition where some families will buy a cake for Christmas, typically a strawberry shortcake, and then, you know, have it to eat. Of course, you have the QR code inside, and you can shake it up. Next, we can use these bottles with the build driver to create our new best match. This creates Conrad Build Merry Christmas form, which is the only form that pretty much breaks the rules of naming four builds forms. We see a little bit of it here on the box for the cake full ball. We can see kind of a bust shot of it. We can see the head and chest, but to get a proper look at it, I'm, I'm going to bring up an image of it, or an image of it, on my phone. So we can see the head with the Santa Claus and cake eyes. You can see the Santa Claus half pie, which looks like Santa's red jacket. It also has a little scarf that looks like Santa's bag of presents, and a star topper for a Christmas tree on the shoulder. And for the cake full ball, you've got a slice open cake and a bit of cake topping, as well as a strawberry on the shoulder. Since Christmas cakes are typically topped with strawberries. Then we can get a close-up for the Voltec finish. And you'll notice that for these balls, when I turn the crank, the inner parts don't move in the driver. And that's because these two balls are styled in the Gashapon slash Candy Toy style, where they do have a clear part on the inside that does uh, move up and down when you shake it. But for these, you'll see that there's actually no hole in the top for the pin to press against, so they don't actually move when using the build driver. And finally, we can use the full balls from our last best match 
in this case Kuma TV, to create a couple of example trial forms. So first we'll use these two. This creates trial form Santa Claus TV. Now we got close up for the Voltic attack. Then we'll use the other two. And this creates trial form Kuma Cake. Then one more close up for the fan share. And there we go. So, overall, while this is a nice and festive set of full balls, this is honestly a couple I didn't think I would be getting. And that's because I typically skip out on the Christmas themed gimmick items because they're usually just there to sell Christmas cakes and they generally don't have any kind of relevance to the actual series. In this case, it's a little bit different because when Bandai decided to release a listing of the 60 full balls that existed within the series, these two were among them for the Hokuto full balls. And I'll be honest in saying that they really shouldn't have been. And that's because of some complications that went on in terms of toy releases. You see, among the many full ball sets released across February and March, the Rose Copter full ball set was originally supposed to be released as the Gold Scorpion full ball set, or rather, that was supposed to be released in its place. And going by the catalogs, they actually did have an image of what the balls and what the forms were supposed to look like, but for whatever reason, they replaced it with the Rose Copter full ball set and then didn't make another spot to release the Gold Scorpion full ball set. So, because they were kind of short one best match, they instead filled it in with the Merry Christmas form, which really does feel out of place because not only does do these two balls not fit in with the rest of the Hokuto full ball since they're in the old style? But it just doesn't really seem like it fits because this is a Christmas form and, like I said, those generally aren't used as any part of the show. So, if you're a hardcore collector who is going for the 30 best matches, then this is one to pick up, but otherwise this is definitely one to pass on since these two definitely do go for quite high prices on the secondary market. Next time, I'll be reviewing the Same Bike Full Ball and DVD set, Tuesday at 6pm PST. Thanks for watching, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, let me know your thoughts down in the comments, and if you're new and would like to see more, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. And for now, this is KRX50, riding off.